Hey everybody, it's Premier Gal here and today is the second day of my five days of social. And so today I'm going to be teaching you the best export settings for 1080p and 4k footage for Vimeo inside of Premiere Pro. So let's not waste any time and let's go ahead and get started. All right, so I'm here inside of Premiere Pro and I'm ready to export this 1080p project to Vimeo. So what I'm gonna do is make sure that my playhead is inside of the timeline and it's highlighted. And I'm gonna go up to File, Export Media. You can also do Command M inside of a Mac. So just like YouTube as the video that I recorded yesterday, which you guys should watch, it's a tutorial on how to best export for YouTube. You're going to select the format H264. And then you're going to select a preset for Vimeo that Premiere Pro has kindly given us. So you're gonna hit this carrot button. You can hit V and it will take you down to the bottom. There's four different presets to choose from here, 480, there's two of them, 720p, 1080p, but there's not a 4K. I bet they're working on something for that. So I'm gonna select Vimeo 1080p HD, and then I'm going to choose my output name, save it to the correct folder, and just do Vimeo and hit save. Now I'm gonna go under the video settings here, and you can see that it has the correct uh, resolution that we need, which is 1920 by 1080. If you hit this match source, it'll match all of these uh, sort of metadata here, the frame rate, field order, aspect, TV standard profile level to match the sequence settings, which is what you want. So you're gonna go ahead and select that. So then I'm going to scroll down to the bitrate settings. And if you watched the tutorial on YouTube export settings yesterday, you'll notice that it was also set, the preset came with a variable bitrate of one pass. And I would recommend doing a variable bitrate of two pass because in the end, it'll produce a better image. And if you watched the tutorial before, I explain why. So I'm gonna set it at two pass and you'll notice that it's actually set at a target bitrate of 16 and a maximum of 20. YouTube had 16 as the target and 16 as the maximum. I went to the YouTube website and they said that the maximum can be 20 uh, mega megabits per second and that you can actually reduce the target bit rate to 10 if you want to. So that is what I want because I want the file size to be a little bit smaller. So I'm gonna reduce the 16 to the 10. And I found that this was the best settings for 1080p um, to Vimeo. Now let's say we are working with 4K, you can increase the target bit rate and increase the maximum. So you're gonna change the 10 to about 30, which this is all going by Vimeo, by the way, 30. I'm gonna leave a link to the source that I was referencing here. And then I'm going to change the maximum to 50. Okay, so this is what you would use for 4K. And of course you could change this to be on um, one pass or two pass, depending on um, how much time you have. Cause two pass does take a lot longer, but in the end it produces a better end product for you. Okay, so I'm gonna just change this back to 10 and 20 because I'm just working in 1080p. Then you're going to go to publish and you're gonna scroll down to Vimeo and you're going to make sure that Vimeo is checked here. Then you're going to log in and this will enable you to add tags in a description to auto upload to Vimeo upon export. Now I like to have it as um, only me for now because I like to add a custom thumbnail before I publish. So once you add your tags or description, you can tell Premiere Pro whether or not you wanna delete the local file after upload. That's only if you don't wanna take up space on your local hard drive, but I tend to just have it there for future use. I just don't like to delete it, I like to have it in my archive, so I usually don't use that. So then you would just go ahead and hit Q if you want to export it using Adobe Media Encoder, which is a separate application. So that way you can use Premiere Pro still, or you can just go ahead and hit export and it will export inside of Premiere Pro and your video will be on its way to Vimeo. 
And so that's it. That's all there is to exporting to Vimeo. Let me know if you guys have any further questions about this export process. And, you know, please give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful. If you have anything that you want to learn, be sure to go to my website, premiergal.com slash tutorials to make a request. This series, The Five Days of Social, was actually requested by somebody. Somebody requested, you know, what is the best workflow for social media exports in Premiere Pro? And I was like... Why don't I do a series about it? So let me know what you want to learn um, on my website. Fill out the form. Um, please do subscribe to this channel. I know it's cliche to say that on YouTube. Please subscribe. But really, it helps grow my community and make it easier to do what I am trying to do, which is to build a community of learning and understanding um, and free tutorials, essentially. So um, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time, which is going to be tomorrow on Facebook settings. So I'll see you then. Bye. Whoop. Sing it, sing it,